Okay, okay, another one. Another one. Alright, that was kind of smooth. These are all based on a single prompt that I will just share with you in a second. What we need to figure out in this video is if this one has really a value of $100,000, can you just turn into a one-man studio and create professional advertisements for international brands like IKEA, Nike, Apple, McDonald's, whatever, okay? So is it that simple? We need to figure this one out together, okay? So I'm a 3D artist and I just want to tell you the real value of these videos, but I would say first because you want to try it out i will give you a one minute tutorial on how you can create your own 100 dollar ad just jump over to this guy's account go in there copy paste the prompt from here and then you just jump over to google labs and use vo3 for example i think the initial idea for this prompt came from this account on x so you can just jump over I'm hearing a bird somewhere. Okay, it's strange. She is giving you the original prompt. I think it was her idea. And I think this one was a quite smooth result. Maybe the best with this prompt. So you just jump over. I can hear a bird. Can't see it. You jump over to Google Labs and type in the prompt. And then you could create your own IKEA ad here. But you can do the same thing with Nike, Tesla, McDonald's, whatever you want to try out. Okay. And if you want to adjust the prompt to your liking, then you, for example, could just copy paste the prompt into JetGPT or Glot or whatever you want to use. And then you maybe just want to talk a little bit about it with JetGPT to make minor adjustments. So for example, you can turn this one into a Nike ad, of course, but you could also just go over here and say, hey, try the same thing with a Tesla ad and I can definitely hear a bird here anyway. Then you can also try it with McDonald's and you can, uh, yeah, just go through it, okay? And then you will get different results. But now after this little mini tutorial on how to create your own little ad here, let me now give you a professional, honest breakdown on what's in it for you and um, if you can make fast money with this one. And I would just tell you the real value of this, okay? So just prepare yourself, fasten your seat belts, and let's break this one down. All right, guys, so if you are still here, here who still has a longer attention span than maybe one or two minutes so you are ready for some non-clickbait professional opinion on these advertisements without bullshit so let's just be honest about this and I also try to not be biased because of course me as a 3D artist who worked in the industry in such projects where everything is CGI animated and it's a lot of handwork and art direction and I love that stuff but at the same time of course it's a tedious process so I also have to be honest about that that shots like this one yes this can take some time and when you really want to have exactly this specific shot for a client like IKEA then maybe this can depending on the scale of the project this can be intensive on the money side but now I try to without rambling just tell you my honest opinion about this it will be a little bit hard not to make this one too long and ramble too much because I prepared a lot of videos here that I want to talk about but we have limited time here in the YouTube video so I will make this one shorter and I will do an extended version where I just go really into the details and just make a long version for my Patreon. So just in case you are curious about that, but now let me focus here. So yes, this one at first glance, this looks impressive, but at the same time, you have to be sure about this was probably not the first iteration of the prompt. So actually it's a little bit of a gambling game when you go into video or whatever image or video generator you want to use and you typed in your prompt, then every iteration will be a new interpretation of the words that you put into it. And you, for example, can see that this prompt here, you can, as I said, copy paste it from here, from this account. This one is already pretty long, but at the same time, you have to think about, you try to put something which is visual, you try to describe it with words. So actually you need a lot of words to describe a scene for a client so that you get exactly what the client wants from you. So the traditional workflow would be in CGI that you create an environment, you talk to the client, you go through several iterations. And of course, you also need the client's products, which have the exact color and texture according to the client's needs. So this is also something which will be difficult when you just type in a prompt with, let's say, 200 words and you try to describe a complete commercial which will nail exactly what the client 
client needs. So kind of challenging, I would say. Of course, you can try it. And as I said, for example, this animation here, at first glance, this one is looking smooth. Okay, I have to admit that at first I was slightly shocked, but then I was getting a little bit deeper into it. And then I have to say the complete middle part here, this one is looking pretty smudgy and blurry. And there is also a lot of glitching into position. I mean, you can see how ugly this one is actually looking. This is not a real motion blur. And I mean, this is depending on your client's needs. So when you would work for a big brand like Ikea, Nike, Amazon, I think that this one is still not acceptable. And as I said, clients, they need precision. They need to be in demand about every detail. So when you work in high quality projects, then right now it's not an option to just type in a prompt. Okay. You can definitely use this one for your small business. And I guess that there should also be options somehow that in the prompting, you try to put in your logo and put in your own products. But at the same time, no, I have to correct myself. This also will be pretty problematic to put in logos and really get what you are after. Okay, so you can try to play the gambling game with the prompting. But for now, I would just say it's very, very uncontrollable, even though that I have to admit that this scene here, it's looking nice. But you also have to understand that this one was fed with billions of artists work. So yes, it kind of knows how it should look. So yeah, let's just continue here. And you can see, I mean, most of these ones, they use pretty much the same prompt, but then you get completely different behaviors. And you also have to understand that those ones here, this one was probably the 1% best that you get out of this one. So most of them will be even more smudgy and blurry and pretty much nonsensical. So let me just show you this one, for example. And you can always see the name on X. So this one was done by this. I, I wanted to say artist, but uh, I was confused. Okay, I'm sorry. So just look at this one, for example. This is kind of a nonsensical animation. AI tries to replicate what artists did before in their unfolding animations, but then it's also getting a lot of that stuff just wrong from the timing and the animation. I mean, it's kind of interesting, but at the same time, it's completely nonsensical. You can also see a lot of smudginess here and there. All right, and I'll admit now I'm getting a little bit critical from a higher standard standpoint, but we have to cover some miles here. So let's just continue with the next one. You can always see the name as I said, but let's just see this one. Once again, it's pretty much the same prompt, but what you are getting is just not predictable. So for example, in this one, this is just exploding in a strange way. And once again, what you're getting here, this is just a completely ugly and smudgy and not acceptable picture for most clients. Yes, I mean, show me how you can do this one with the exact IKEA products. And then we can talk again. But for now, I would say that this is just uncontrollable. But anyway, you can see that the results here, they are just getting completely out of hand. And now the AI is doing a strange explosion here. And you can see that this is just making no sense. Then there is this Viking with a duck appearing behind the box. And I'm already fed up with AI by seeing this. Anyway, you can see that the results are, I think it's not getting better. Okay. So I know, I know I'm a bit critical here, but this one, I don't even know what this is. And yes. Okay. So, all right. Okay. Marcus, relax a little bit. I have to be not biased here. So the thing is you can get something interesting. And I would say that most people will have a lower standard these days. Actually, I would say the standard for visual things and basically for everything, people just have lower standards these days. I guess that people are out there who think that this one is uh, an expensive ad. I'm not sure. Maybe you will think that this one is expensive, but I will tell you it's not usable. Okay. So maybe I should just put this one into shorter words. You can get not predictable, interesting, sometimes impressive images out of the AI. Okay. I will not say that this one isn't somehow crazy, but at the same time, it's just a gambling game. So all of this is not controllable. And if you would work on a real project for McDonald's, for example, then all of this is just not acceptable. Also these products, what is this? So does this make any sense? No, it doesn't make any sense. So so let's just see some of my video results, but you already get the idea behind it. Once again, you can see that this one is, for example, the same prompt that we have seen previously, but now you can see that the result is not as impressive as you have seen it previously. So now the timing is pretty boring. How this one is popping out doesn't make any sense. So I will tell you there is still high value to build these scenes really in 3D 
Idee bei Designers and Artists and people with good eye to then art direct these objects into position, I would say that uh, these results are just not worth $100,000, okay? Maybe not even worth $1 because you can't use that stuff. It's just not useful in any scenario right now with clients, maybe with small clients, okay, maybe with small clients. Okay, and you can see it's getting more and more ridiculous with the same prompts. So as I said, it's a gambling game and I wouldn't rely on using this one for quality brand. Let me just say it like this. And I prepared a lot of more stuff here. I wanted to go way more in detail, but maybe for you guys on YouTube, I will just keep it short. I just actually wanted to compare these results also with quality videos from 3D artists, from studios, from designers, which are just amazing just to show you the difference of the results that you can get to just give you a better and deeper understanding what is really possible with prompting and what you can do if you really build that stuff, if you are an artist and if you work with clients on a professional level. I think that the comparison between the prompting fast food here and then giving you an understanding on how to really work with such clients, also for furniture, for example, here, I think that I will put this one into a next video or onto my Patreon. I haven't decided yet. Yeah, let's keep this one short. I hope that you still learned something and got a better idea on what value you can accept from your prompting, okay, and for which kind of clients you can use this one. And I would say let's do the comparison of using 3D software on a high professional level, like here in these advertisements, and compare it to the prompting in the next video, okay, to deepen your understanding of what is possible with AI prompting. So yeah, thank you so much for your time. I hope I didn't destroy your dreams of getting fast money. Sorry for that, but let's be just realistic. But if you are more into clickbait content, I would suggest, for example, this one, okay? Because he is definitely promising you a high value, but I'm just a bit more realistic, okay? So thank you so much for your time. I wish you a great day. Bye, everyone.